Yes, I know. The title of this video makes it seem super easy, right? Only investing $5 and then getting a successful empire back? Well, this is partly what happened with Ben and Jerry. However, obviously, I'm skipping out on a big part of the story here. Where did the business idea come from? What was their success factor? And what was the secret they used for only $5? Well, buckle up, get your ice cream, and let's find out, shall we? It's gonna get tasty. So, the heroes of our story are Jerry Greenfield and Ben Cohen, two childhood friends who decided to take a chance on their dreams and open an ice cream shop. This happened in Burlington, Vermont in 1978. You know how they say every success comes with a price to pay? Well, the price Ben and Jerry paid was $5. Yeah, who said business was hard? No, I'm kidding. Although they did pay $5 for a course in the fundamentals of running a business, such as marketing, legal consideration, and finance. Small side note, they probably don't sell these for $5 anymore. Sorry to tell you. The reason they took this course is because they didn't know anything, literally anything about business. Hell, they didn't even know that they were going to end up in the ice cream business. Their initial idea was to make bagels. However, that turned out to be too expensive. After all, they only had $5 to invest. <laughs> Again, kidding. Getting back to the story, everyone knows that any good story needs an old-fashioned villain. And the villain in our story today is the competition. When Ben and Jerry's first started, they were up against haagen and Breyers. These competitors were out for blood. In 1984, a giant company called Pillsbury took over haagen -Dazs. Now, you might wonder, how on earth was such a young startup as Ben & Jerry's going to take on such a big corporation? Well, they'll surprise you. Both competitors went head-to-head -head in a fierce battle for the frozen food market. Pillsbury responded to this new threat by giving all their distributors an ultimatum. They refused to distribute their ice cream to resellers who were also selling the Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Sounds illegal, right? Well, back then, apparently, it wasn't. Pillsbury then continued and drastically lowered their prices, which ultimately led to a bitter price war. Pillsbury's strategy almost drowned Ben & Jerry's. However, they weren't so quick to give up on their dreams. They decided to take on Pillsbury using a different strategy. The co-founders launched a publicity campaign using What's the Doughboy Afraid Of? as their battle cry. They took the slogan to the streets and even up in the sky. They decided to involve the mass to support them in their war, which was pretty smart. I mean, who doesn't love to be on the side of the underdog? Their strategy is an example of their creativity and innovative minds. Not only did they use it for their strategy to survive their competition, they even took it up a notch to gain more customers. You know how you don't hear so much from most ice cream brands in the winter? Well, not Ben & Jerry's. They decided to come up with an idea to keep their customers engaged during the winter. They created online interactive experiences for their customers. In this case, a personal quiz experience. Customers were asked a set of questions they had to answer online and would get their personalized flavor recommendations in return. Not only did this keep their customers engaged with the brand, this also encouraged them to try new flavors. Ben & Jerry's also developed a program called Chill with Ben & Jerry's. This program provided customers with exclusive discounts and special offers during the winter months. Through this program, customers can receive discounts on pints and cones and get free shipping on orders. These creative ideas kept the company running even when the temperature was below zero and eventually took them to the top of the ice cream business within a short time. Now we all know Ben & Jerry for their ice cream. However, another reason why people are such a big fan of it is because of their social responsibility. The company has always placed a strong emphasis on helping the community and the environment. They're committed to using environmentally friendly ingredients and packaging, and they are active in many areas of corporate social responsibility. For example, they have supported dozens of causes, including climate change awareness and racial justice. They even created a flavor of ice cream in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. In addition, they've invested in renewable energy sources and are committed to combating climate change. Now we're almost at the end of our video, and you know how we love to share facts most people aren't aware of yet. Did you know that Ben & Jerry's has its own cemetery? Yes, you heard that right. Their own cemetery. Now you might wonder whose bodies are there. Well, those are the bodies of people who crossed them. 
Just kidding. <laughs> of course not. And if you believe that for even one second, you've seen too many conspiracy theories. No. Ben & Jerry's Cemetery is for discontinued flavors. It's a special place where people can walk down memory lane and remember their favorite flavors that are gone. It's located in an area of the Ben & Jerry's factory in Waterbury, Vermont. Just in case you want to visit it. There you'll see each flavor represented by a tombstone etched with the name and vital statistics of each flavor. Ben & Jerry's made this place for people to come and relive their favorite moments with flavors that have been lost, and also to celebrate the delicious flavors that have been, and will be, made by Ben & Jerry. What's your favorite ice cream brand? Let us know in the comments, we would love to hear from you. We hope that you enjoyed this video again. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the